Being a brand new player to the game sure is confusing, much like being a virgin in a gay orgy. You're not sure which rod to pull or push and you end up throttling something you shouldn't, which in turn makes poo appear. Unless you're German, I doubt the scat party is something you want to be a part of. So as a helping hand, here I have made a list of ships that I think any newbie should get as they progress through the game. Consider my suggestions only as stepping stones so you can choose whatever ship you like. Number 1. We all start with Sidewinder and 1000 credits in our pockets, a galactic equivalent of a toothless bum on the street corner. And much like one, you have to suck a lot of cocks before you can live decently. Oddly, these days gum jobs are popular, so you should be fine. With money earned, I recommend getting Eagle or Adder. Both ships are complete upgrades to Winder, so you'll lose nothing. Eagle is more cheaper and suited for combat, and Adder is a complete upgrade, but costs twice as much. I personally went with Adder as my second ship. Number 2. After some time earning your pay on your knees, you most likely will have gotten a decent feeling for the game, and what you most prefer to do in it. Generally, there are three types of players. Those that like to buttfuck, i.e. combat pilots, those that like being buttfucked, i.e. traders and miners, and some weirdos that like to watch while furiously masturbating in a corner, i.e. explorers. Man, what's up with me and homo jokes today? Eh, anyways, for combat, I recommend getting Viper 3, and for everything else, Cobra 3. They both are about the same, but for price of one Cobra you can get Viper plus some decent upgrades. Cobra, then again, I would describe as the second coming of Jesus. Oh fuck, that wasn't even intended as a joke. Mm. Oh well, that was still my third ship. Seriously though, both of these ships are very important and should not be skipped, unless you have enough credits to get the next two. And speaking of... Number 3. Probably after multiple days or weeks of human trafficking, cannibalism, piracy or mind-numbing traveling, you'll collect several millions and at that point it's time to get a new, better ship. Again, just like in the case of Cobra and Viper, number 3 spot is taken by Vulture, one of the best combat ships in the game, capable of jamming its two large gun ports up Condes, Cutters and Corvettes exhaust ports, if you catch my drift. And Asp Explorer, another godlike ship that does everything. Yes, everything. I personally love Vulture, and that's why it was my fourth ship. Well, it didn't help that I rammed the station in full speed, killing myself after leaving the dock. Twice. And having no rebuy for the second time, I lost everything and had to start completely fresh. Fuck me. As for Asp, one of the longest jump ranges makes this the number one ship for explorers. It also has decent combat capabilities and cargo space, making it a wonderful all-rounder. But my god, it's fat and I think it has cheese for breaks. So expect to hug every landing pad, asteroid and ship in your field of view. Number 4. Okay, now you've been grinding credits for months with previous ships and you wonder. What have I done with my life? But have no fear, there's still something to look forward to. Ferdelands and Python. Just like in previous entries on this list, one is meant to liberate people from their limbs and credits, and the other one is for everything else. Now, if Vulture was one of the best combat ships, then FTL is probably the best. And Python is great at everything. Personally, I prefer Python due to its unrivaled versatility. Still, coming at over 50 million price tag, you'll have to sell your organs to get either one. Number 5. And so the top spot's taken by a literal celebrity. The Conda. Much like in real life, not everyone can be lucky enough to fuck a celebrity. Unless you're a female and you see Bill Cosby. Still, reach for the stars and maybe one day. One day you'll wake up and hear words. That we also used to play a buck buck. Um, I mean, just get conned, okay? Seriously, I should stop making jokes. Anyways, getting Anaconda is one of those end game goals, but make no mistake. After you get the ship, there's still a lot to do. Like grinding faction ranks to get Corvette or Cutter. Um, oh fuck, no, forget what I said. If your new grinding faction ranks just drains you, and no, unlike with hookers, there's no pleasure involved. Just pain. A lot of pain and regret. Much like being married. And speaking of, honorable mention actually goes to Cutter and Corvette. They will be your very end game ships. If you choose to completely scramble your brain. If that's the case, maybe watch some Christian TV. It'll have the same effect. I mean, come on, first you have to get 200 mil for either ship. Then you also have to grind the faction rank system. Just unlock them. And to do so, you'll have to complete a lot of missions for that faction. And trust me, it's just as entertaining as watching a movie called The Room. And just a 
shameless plug here. I made a simple guide for this, so check it out at the end of the video. But all in all, there you go, the list of ships I highly recommend getting. For me, Cobra 3 was the one that showed me what I wanted to mainly do in the game. Other than that, I'll be seeing you floating in the space somewhere.